welcome to episode two of Conga Kids Online. Here at Conga Kids, we use a phrase called serious fun. But what does that really mean? Well, the second word's a little obvious, right? Dance should be fun. But the first word is a bit of a thinker. Serious fun is about balance. It's about applying the hard work, discipline, and focus necessary to master a new skill, but it's also about celebration. It's about allowing yourself to let go and enjoy a new experience. So today, have some serious fun with us. Focus on energizing your brain and body, learning the steps, and of course, focus on letting all of your worries go away because today is about dance. And remember, dance should be fun. Uh, next up is our cha-cha. So we're gonna first go over our cha-cha rhythm. All right, let's stomp it out. Two, three, cha-cha-cha. 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 Now that we've learned the rhythm, let's go over our cha-cha basic. Okay, so much like the salsa, our left foot's gonna move forward and our right foot's gonna move back. All we did was add a little cha-cha-cha in the middle of it. It's gonna look like this. Cha-cha-cha, forward, break, cha-cha-cha, back, break, or side, close, side, forward, break, side, close, side, back, break. Do it with me. Cha-cha-cha, forward, break, cha-cha-cha, back, break, cha-cha-cha, forward, break, cha-cha-cha, back, break. Thanks, Miss Kirsten. Oops, just caught me listening to my cha-cha record. Did you guys know that the name cha-cha was shortened from the original cha-cha-cha, and that that name is actually an onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia is the name for a word that makes its own sound effect, so you can understand what the word is doing by the sound its letters make. For example, splash. Bang. Splash. So can you guess why the name cha-cha-cha might be an example of onomatopoeia? It's because when the dancers danced the quick steps, the sound of their sandals hitting the floor made the sound cha-cha-cha. Back to you, Miss Kirsten. Great job. Let's now learn the routine from the top. So we're gonna start with our prep step. There's three marches in place, left, right, left, or here we go. We're gonna start with our prep step and then run through our cha-cha basic twice. Come join me. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Cha-cha-cha, forward, break. Cha-cha-cha, back, break. Cha-cha-cha, forward, break. Cha-cha-cha, back, break. Next up is our crossover step and it looks like this. Cha cha cha, cross it over. 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 Try it with me. Five, six, seven, eight. Cha cha cha, cross it over. 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 Our next step is the spot turn, and it looks like this. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Try it with me. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Cha-cha-cha, cross, turn. Our next step is called Cuban break. And it goes like this. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. I like to think of it as you're moving forward and you make a big stop like you would on your bike, all right? So you're gonna go break and back and break and back. Other side, break and back and break and back. The next step in our footwork challenge is the hip twist. And it looks like this. Two and three, four and one. 
You're gonna start with your left foot. You're gonna go knee, knee, out. Other side, knee, knee, out. Okay, one more time. Knee, knee, out, knee, knee, out. From there, do some hip swivels. It looks like this. Two and three and four and one. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Cha, 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 baby. Six, cha, 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 baby. Six, cha, cha, cha. Two, three, cha, cha, cha. Two, three, cha, cha, cha. Cross it over, cha, cha, cha. Cross it over, cha, cha, cha. Cross it over, cha, cha, cha. Ready to increase the speed? Don't worry if you make a mistake, just keep going. 